Hi, I'm Joy Banfield, AccuQuilt's Chief of Staff, and welcome to today's show. We are so excited for the relaunch of one of our handiest dies, the Go Carpenter's Wheel Die. Today we'll be sharing new inspiration using the die with special guests Emily Bailey and Melissa Corey, and oh, do we have some oh, fun for you there. We are always looking for new ways to bring you innovative products that help you create quilt blocks uh, using AccuQuilt dies, making these time-consuming blocks fast and easy so you can get back to sewing. Now, let me introduce you to your hand tool experts, Pam and Erica. <laughs> well, I know, we have a new title every, every week. Every week. I love it. All right, quilters, I'm super excited that our quilters voted to make this die part of our permanent collection. Oh, me too. They steered us in the best direction, so let's get today's show started. As always, we've planned a lot of fun for you. We've got some great prizes, exciting project ideas, a stupendous trunk show, and some special deals. All right, ladies, I'm going to go greet our special guests, Emily and Melissa, Excellent. who will be helping us with the relaunch of our Go Carpenters Wheel Die in a little bit. You have a great show. All Fabulous. right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, quilters, in case you're new to AccuQuilt, we released the Go Carpenters Wheel Die as part of our Die to Try series last year. We release a new Die to Try on the first Tuesday of every month, mm -hmm. this year included. That's right. This die was so popular with our community that we felt compelled to bring it back as part of our permanent collection. So without further ado, let's take a look at our Go Carpenter's Wheel die. Get ready to steer your quilting towards exciting new projects with the Go Carpenter's Wheel block on board die you'll be creating stunning 18 inch finished blocks in no time with this innovative die. With 20 pieces on the die, screen printed letters will help you keep track of your pieces. Specialized dog ears make piecing a breeze. With just one trip through a go or a go big fabric cutter is all you need to cut one entire block. While this classic block dates back to the 1800s, it looks fresh and modern still today. Pair it up with solids, prints, batiks, you're only limited by your imagination. Just one block is all you need for an eye-catching table topper or a mini quilt. But why stop there? Putting these blocks together is a cinch and you'll be building your quilts in no time. Pair it up with other block on board or bob dies and mix and match cubes to keep your projects and creativity rolling. Because at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time so you can quilt more. Oh, quilters, we love this time. In we fact, do. probably my, one of my new top 10. Yes. Yeah, it's yes. great. And it makes a classic block all right, and you see this basic design in so many contemporary quilts, you know, though, right? You really do. So let's take a closer look at the die and all the things that make it so special. And one of those is that it it is a block on board. It makes an 18 inch finished block yep. in one pass through the cutter. It makes our largest, it's our largest it's our largest block bob with so a bob. Far. Yeah. Okay, so Erica, the first question quilters are gonna ask us is, can you make this with a cube? And the answer is no. No, you cannot. Because of shape A. Now yes. you're gonna see we've screen printed the letters to help you keep track of your pieces. That's important. It's right. gonna help you off down the line. Right. We've got specialized dog ears here, but the reason is shape A is a diamond. Right. And quilters, we have half square triangles, smaller half square triangles, and quarter, quarter square, square triangles. You need to keep those organized. Yes, keep because those that way the uh, lengthwise grain is uh, a on, great one. Right to the outside. Right, to the outside. So and and back to the the cube diamonds because the shape that's in your cube, remember, is a parallelogram. Yes. So it looks similar, but it is not because these sides are all equal right. on this shape and they're not on your parallelogram. We are gonna always tell you to make a test block. Always. And this is perfect for like a medallion style quilt. We have some in our yes. trunk show. So if you're not familiar mm -hmm. with medallion style quilts, you're gonna have one big shining block like this in the middle and then build out from there with different borders and treatments and blocks right. around the outside. And it is really perfect for that. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna build quarters at a time on our yes. block. So let's cut some fabric. Okay, let's do it. 
All right, so here's the thing that quilters ask us all the time, how to lay our fabric out. So if you follow the cutting instructions, it's gonna tell you how to sub cut your fabric mm -hmm. and you wanna have that lengthwise grain. So here I'm gonna show you. So it's nice and tight. Yes. Hear that? Nice and tight. The lengthwise grain is gonna go parallel to these blades down here at the bottom, the lengthwise blades. I like to tell quilters, take the label, see the label? Oh, there we go. I'll show it on the right camera. There we go. Label at your <laughs> belly, lengthwise grain, nice and tight. Okay, so we get that question a ton. So we just wanted to kind of address it today. Yep. So this is that lengthwise grain. It's going to go under the rollers. Mm -hmm. All right. And if it's not lengthwise grain, what's going to happen is that bias is going to pull right. and cut. And then it's going to come back together and right. it's not going to be the right and bias size. is kind of like the dirty little secret that quilters don't talk about, but it makes all the difference in the world. It so does. You want to pay attention to that. And we've just grabbed some scraps we in have. honor of today's show. We have in honor of today's scrappy show. So uh, you can always cut six layers of good quilting cotton. We've just put four there because we have four different colors in our block. Yep. We're going to use a 10 by 24 cutting mat because what happens if you try to use it without a mat? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now this is on a 10 by 24 die board so it will fit through our Go, our Go Big and our Studio Cutter with the appropriate okay. adapter. So look how absolutely simple it is to run it through our go big. That's right. Now I love this block because um, you can make it in all different colorways. Yes. And you could go to our website to go quilt. Yes. And change up the colorway. So this block is done. We've done this one in some Lori Holt fabric that kind of has that retro feel to it, but you could do it in very modern colors. You could. You could do it in batiks. You could do it in grunge. pretty much whatever. Pam can do anything in grunge. I can. Okay, so I'm going to get and this. And of course, here. note that this is a 10 by 24 die board. That means we can use it in our Go Big, but we could also use it in our Go. We could in our studio, studio with the appropriate adapter, and we're going to make sure that we have a 10 by 24 mat. We do, and I just cut one layer here, so I'm going to have a little string there. Okay, but it's okay. I'm going to just okay. Pull. It's not a band aid. Don't rip it right off. <laughs> so we're going to start building, right? We are. Okay. Okay. So how about we just lay our pieces right. here? So this is kind of the cool thing. So <laughs> this is what I learned. All right, um, these are the outside, these are the smaller oh, half square triangles. Important to note. Yep, so here, we'll just kind of build them here. So we're gonna start here. Look at this one little fabric. Oh, you picked okay, fun this, colors. I know. Let's put that in the I'm middle. Excited. Shall we put that darker blue for the center? Yeah, yeah. we can do that. Okay. Yep, we can do that. All right, we're gonna put it up here, okay? Okay, so here's what I learned. Yes. while I was making this. Okay, you wanna follow the pattern. Always. Because, always, always. Because these are quarter square triangles, oh, and these are half important. square triangles, and those are half square very triangles. Very important, okay. So we're gonna take some of our, oh, was it? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna kinda just lay it out here. You're gonna see, um, because of that quarter inch seam allowance, look, we cut off all the dog ears. Yep. No puppies were hurt. That's right. All right. Okay. There we go. Yep. And then we're just going to add this little green one down here. Perfect. So fun. Okay. And then here are these quarter, quarter square, square triangles. And remember, seam allowances. We got seam allowances coming. So yeah. For days. That's okay. going to make the difference. And then on the bottom here of these little um, uh, diamonds, we're going to put these tiny little half square triangles. I think we're shy. Of, we're shy. Of there that. we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is just a really a reminder to lay out your block. Yes. Make sure you make yes. a test block. It's gonna go together perfectly. And I do love the fact that we've had those great little um, uh, dog ears are cut off. So right here is quarter inch seam. Right, and pay attention to your pattern. But the cool thing, no Y seams here. None Y seams. None. None. So we know you're gonna love making that. Okay. And then share them with us on your our social media pages. We'd love to see right. what you're making with it's all the straight rope. sewing, just quarter inch seam yeah. allowance. You just have to take your time and keep track of your pieces. 
Okay, this is such a great block and so many creative ways that you can use it. Just wait till you see the trunk show coming That's up. Right. There's just some fun things in there. All right, quilters. Now we know you must be wondering how to get your hands on this handy die. So we've got bundles available for you today. Get your order in during the show. You can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image and go right to those bundles on the site. Now these bundles are already marked down as far as possible. Right. We've given you a great discount. First, we have the Go individual Go Carpenter's Wheel. It finishes to 18 inches. You can purchase it today for $129.99. Now our first bundle is the Go to the Nines bundle, and it's going to come with, of course, our Go Carpenter's Wheel, yes. 18 inch finished die, but also the Go Cube Mix and Match 9 inch finished block and the 10 by 24 cutting mat. Now this bundle is valued at $414, but you can get it today for $299.99. That's gonna save you over $113. And why did we bundle it with a nine inch cube? Because if you do the math, which is something, of course, you know Pam and I avoid, but we right. can even handle this, nine plus nine equals 18. Yeah, you can use it, it's perfect. So it's gonna work together really well. Our next bundle is the Go Carpenter's Wheel Starter Pack. This is the one you wanna get. Yes. You're gonna get the Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter Starter Set, the Go Carpenter's Wheel, which finishes to 18 inches, and a 10 by 24 mat. Now this bundle is valued at $864. You can purchase it today for just $649.99, saving you over $213. It comes with that Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter. It's the one we use every day. Every day. So if you've already purchased the Go Carpenter's Wheel Die, don't worry. You can still add to your collection of dies by using the promo code SAVE35 to get 35% off of dies, cubes, and select bundles. That's right. And if you live in the contiguous US and your order reaches $150 or more, you will get free shipping. There no code is required to redeem this offer at checkout. Remember quilters, the bundles are already marked down as far as possible. Some exclusions uh, apply to the promo offers. Right. Be sure to check our website for all the details. Now, if you don't have a QR reader, you'll want to open a new tab in your browser. So go up to the top of the page and click on the plus sign. In that top box, you'll type in accuquilt.com slash party to see those bundles and place your order. That way you're not going to miss a minute of Pam and my I the show and our antics. Yes, we're having a good day today. Yeah. Be sure to get your orders in while items are available and ready to ship. And you'll receive double two-time reward points if you place your order today. Now, don't forget, global supply ish chain issues are happening all the time. We can't guarantee when sold out items will be back in stock. Yep. So, which is worth noting that the Go Carpenters Wheel Dive actually sold out during the month that was originally released. That's right. Now you can also find our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find a retailer closest to you, check out the store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And Quilt Now Pay Later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, now that we've shown you how handy the Go Carpenter's handy. Wheel die is, let's talk about using it for scraps. Oh, okay, this makes my heart so... I got so a whole box of scraps oh, waiting. So happy. Mm -hmm. Joining us today to talk about all things scrappy, but especially this block, yes. is our good friend Melissa Corey. Melissa being, began quilting in 2005, which later inspired her to start her blog in 2010. Yeah. She loves sharing her original designs through tutorials. She has her own pattern line and published books, and she's a rock star. Melissa's favorite quilts to create with the AccuQuilt quilt dies are scrappy bob dies yes. and she loves curved pieces. You can keep up with her daily quilting adventures on her blog, Happy Quilting. All right, there Melissa, she there she Hello, is. Thanks Melissa. so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, we're so excited you came back. And look, she's got her quilts finished that we talked to her about before. Yay. So Melissa, we know you love your scraps and we know you love using your bob dies to create quilt blocks. So what tools do you use to plan out those scrappy quilt blocks? That's, odd. yeah, for sure. So yeah, I love scraps. Um, the accountant in me makes me make organized scrappy quilts. Oh, I have a hard time with just throwing it all out there. Um, <laughs> So my biggest thing when I start any scrappy quilt is color management and right. deciding on a color theme. When I was with you guys last time, I shared a rainbow quilt. Um, pretty much whenever I start, I'm just going to decide where I want my color theme to be, because if I have a balanced color theme, then it will be 
pleasing to me and organized. Serenity. Mm-hmm. Serenity. Exactly. So I love doing cool color quilts, warm color quilts, two color quilts. Um, anytime you're doing a two color quilt, if you put a neutral with it, brown with blue, black with pink, it always, always looks amazing. Okay. So that's where I start. And then I love to use my EQ or like you said, you can use the AccuQuilt site to kind of put the colors in and then you can kind of play with how you want your layout oh, to look. Oh, look at that. Oh, look so at the, the different blue, layout. Yeah, I did more of the traditional carpenter's right. will. Uh-huh. And then the pink, I kind of played with it a little bit and had fun moving the colors that's around. Super so. darling. That is fun. So, so that's a great thing. And that's a great tool that AccuQuilt's provided right. too on your It's website. available on our website, yep. Now, you've created two different quilts for us today using the Go Carpenters Will Die. Tell us about which what, what you've made. So, so talk I about the made, quilts behind you. Yes. So like I said, organized scrappy. So we've done a pink and black one special for a little girl. And I had fun in this one just doing the layout, the entire pink star and the entire black star. I love that. Just, you know, kind of fun. And I, like I said, I traded out the corners. And whenever I go, I love to sort my uh, scraps by color. Mm -hmm. okay. So that makes it so much easier when I'm preparing to start a scrap quilt, especially because I do that organized scrappy. Um, I can just pick one pink and then just find colors that go along sure. with it. And I'm just playing in my pink drawer. Obviously, I don't want to throw any magentas or anything in here, right, but right. they kind of go. And then again, with the brown and blue, and it's fun to throw in a little bit darker. Sometimes we get a little scared and it's almost too much all of one color. Mm -hmm. Right. So play in the color families and have mm -hmm. some fun with it. Like I said, this is a more of the traditional layout. And this one's actually going to be, that's why I had to get it done so fast. It's going to be mailed off to one of our good friends at AccuQuilt who just had a little blue bundle of joy. I know who that person oh, is. Yay. Oh. oh, I'm so glad I didn't make a quilt for that person yeah, because Melissa's then, sending her a yes. cool one. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you I can love... never have enough baby quilts. I know. That's right. That's so fun. But I love you talking about organized scrappy. It's like you were listening in on the conversation that Joy and I had right before the show, right, Joy? About scraps and how she struggles with scrappy because she wants it to be organized. So that is great. Yeah. Great yeah. tips. And I well, and then it's super helpful once you get your blocks made, you know, lay them. We have design walls. Mine is my floor. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. We can all right. use our floor for our design wall. But the biggest tool that I found, it's my teenager's favorite tool, our phone. So when you are looking at your blocks on the floor or on your design wall, your eyes can't see the full quilt all at once, which makes it kind of difficult to see if your colors are balanced. Mm -hmm. So if you take a picture of it with your phone and then look at that picture on your phone, yeah, your eyes brilliant. see the yes. entire quilt all at once, and it makes it really easy to see where you need to move the stuff around to balance okay, it out. That is super it's smart. Cool. That super is smart. Super smart. Well, it is always a pleasure. We always learn something when you have you, we have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Hey, and if, if you oh. fun viewers have a minute, I have a huge share the love shop sale right now oh. in my Etsy oh. shop. So happyquiltingmelissa.com. They've got a nice little link there and Look come at check that. it out. That's Listen, fantastic. we should go shop with we'll Melissa. Go sh we're, we're done it. We're free at one. Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for Melissa for joining us. Good to see you again. You. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Okay. I love that whole concept of taking a picture. It's, it makes such a difference. It does. It does. It makes and such a difference. In my quilting head now forever, I'm going to do it. And yep. then you kind of have a picture then to save yes. as well. Right. Right. When you can't remember oh, okay. how you had it Listen, laid out. I just want to go home and make carpenter wheels. Okay, <laughs> quilters, if you're like us and always looking for more inspiration, be sure to join be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow we are creating a barn block using the Go Cube. Oh, good. The Go the brand new die to try, which is the Go Farm Animals Medley die. And the Western Midley, it has a horse. That's right. I know. Be sure to register on the show for the events page on the AccuQuilt website for the chance to win an exciting door prize. We have tons of fun. I hope to see you there. All right, Erica, I have this brilliant scrappy idea. Oh, let me guess. 
We should give away a Go Carpenter's Wheel die. We totally <laughs> should. All right, that means one of our registered viewers will get our die just for registering for today's event. All right, today's lucky winner of a Go Carpenter's Wheel die is, drum roll please. It's Karen J from Pearl City, Illinois. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are gonna love this, Karen. Oh, so fun. Such a, I, truly top 10 it in my is. quilting world. All right, quilters, at the start of 2022, we kicked off our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt, Moda Fabrics, with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from our teams will be donating a quilt each week of 2022 to the charity of their choice. That's right. Now, last week's donation was made by AccuQuilt go-getter Bea Lee from Bea Quilter. She actually made four quilts. She did. Thank you, so, Bea. Because she's a Bea go-getter. Yeah. And she was. they were designed with um, using the cube. Yes. The Glorified Nine Patch for yep. her donations. And she used her beach bum, her which I love that name for Yeah, a we should all have beach bum quilts. Stop and Go and Esther's Courage quilt patterns. Her quilts were created with connecting threads, fabric, island batiks, and scraps. Bia took her quilts to her local church to be donated to a pregnancy support center, a women's shelter, and a local hospice. All right, let's check them out. Here let's they are. Look. Okay, so the one on the left is called Esther's Courage, and I just think it's so pretty because it's just such a simple... It is, design. but it's just, it gives you nice secondary designs. It's a yes. very accessible, it's very warm feeling. Yes. Of course, you know I love the Glorified Nine yeah, it's your favorite so dye. much. And look at that great quilt that she made with the, her scraps. And I love that she made the piano keys scrappy on the edge. Mm -hmm. And the she alternated it with some other blocks. It's really fun. Okay. Here we've got the Stop and Go, which is super fun. And I feel like she used our Rising Star dye. Uh, it looks like maybe it, she did, or her yeah. cube. Or her Lots cube of flying geese going on there. Days. And then the beach bum. And <laughs> I love the treatment around the edge. I yes. love how it, it, it edges out. That okay. is just super fun. All right, I'm super excited to do beach bum. All right, again, a huge shout out to Bia. I, she did such a great job. Quilters, be sure and visit our website for details on how you can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to uh, AccuQuilt or learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. Now you can also follow the hashtag, hashtag quilt the world 2022 on social media to see fellow quilters donations throughout the year. And we have a secret because we know which one Joy is going to donate. We do. Our very own Joy made this phenomenal quilt that really Amazing. is just beautiful. Now, in case you're just now tuning in for the show, we have deals and the Go Carpenter's Wheel Die bundles are available that are already marked down. And if you already have the Go Carpenter Wheel Die, congratulations. We have <laughs> you covered as well with today's promo Save35, S-A-V-E-3-5. Right. This code will save you 35% on dies, cubes, and selected bundles. Some exclusions apply with the de deal, so check the website for details. Plus, you're going to get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. Yep. when your order reaches $150 or more. No code is needed at checkout to redeem that offer. And be sure to place your orders today. You're going to get double reward Ooh. points. I know, Tuesday 2 stuff. Yep. You can use these two points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. That's right. All right, so today's show is all about the tools we use to make our quilts. And we want to know, besides your AccuQuilt cutters and dies. Which is obvious. Which is obvious. Which is your most, what is your most valuable tool? That's right. Now there's no voting poll today, so yep. be sure to let us know in the comment section wherever you stream. Yep. And of course, sewing machines, I mean, that's yes. obvious. Yes, that's and we're going to talk in a little bit um, about our favorite tools. We have mm -hmm. some up here, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about our yeah, favorite. We're going to share some of them. All right. So make sure you put it in the comment section. That's right. Okay, quilters, now follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to see those behind the scenes videos and our antics. Did you see um, Jack posted last week when we did the um, farm medley, uh, yes. medley dye uh, Lynn socks? 
Yes. Yeah. They were very cute. Yeah. Those socks, all of those all are Lynn's feet. So we have all of those things. We have so much fun and we love to share our AccuQuilt community quilts and stories on our social media pages. So be sure to follow us. Absolutely. Now quilters, it's time for our second guest. We've got Miss Emily Bailey to show us what tools she uses to make her quilts. Emily's the author of a blog, Aunt M's Quilts. She's a scrap quilter, a designer, and a teacher. She's been, she has been designing for 20 years and has been published in The Love of Quilting, McCall's Quilting, and Simply Quilts. She teaches through her website, YouTube, and live events. Emily, thanks so much for joining us today. Yes, yeah, she is. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. We're so excited to have you. All right, Emily, I know you have a quilt to share with us. It's hanging behind you. Can you talk about your process for creating that lovely thing? So this is my carpenter's wheel. And unlike Melissa, um, I think you can never have enough color and I just throw it all in. But, um, but I love Melissa. We are often at events together. She is great. So I, what I did was I sewed fabric together to make crumb fabric. Kind of looks like Look this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is such a cool technique, yes. Walters. Yeah. So, and then I would cut it to the size of the strip that the die wanted, the die says to cut it to, and you end up with pieces that look like this. Is that so cool? That is so cool. So, um, and when you get pieces like this, sometimes on the back, you'll have this extra bulk here. Uh -huh. I just take my seam ripper and take that off. So that when I'm sewing things together, I don't know if you're. Yeah, we that. can see it. It's just great. Okay. Then, then you don't end up with that extra bulk in the seam. So I just use my seam ripper to do that. And then when I'm sewing, I will spray it with starch just because you're going to end up with different angles. So the starch just helps to stabilize it while I'm doing that. Right. Well, that's a great tip. Right. And I love the fact that you, oh, look at us looking look at, at it. it. We're just okay, like, so I love the <laughs> fact that with your crumb coats, there's not, you just kind of pick random colors, right? You don't just yeah. go in, in a color wheel kind of thing, right? No. No. I just throw it all together. You just throw it all together. You're not planning it. You're not, it's very kind of a organic, organic thing. You just put it together. Okay, I do have one question, okay? Okay. Um, what's the biggest size you would consider cutting up for a crumb quilt? Because because sometimes quilters, they're just like one inch little strips, right? So yeah. so what, what size is too big for a crumb quilt? So in my crumb bin, like I organize my scraps, I have, I, I have, have a crumb bin. That are, okay. I do by color that are like, uh, charm square to a fat quarter size. So I have those scraps, but in my crumb bin, that's anything that's smaller than a charm, but I will okay. keep strips in there that are just various lengths. Right. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay Cause my goal, my goal this year is to just make a block and maybe you use the carpenter's wheel. Yeah. It'd be great. Right? For that. Uh, uh, but I I'm going to try that, that technique. Yes, I want to try that too. Now, Emily, you've got a new book, which is so exciting. So I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> and it's about chrome quilting. So what it is. quilters? Oh, there oh, you there got we it. Go. Okay, tell there us a little bit about the book. So this is chrome quilts. Um, it's all based on this method of making the fabric. I show you how to make the fabric. I teach you different ways you can use it with applique and piecing. I do some reverse applique in there. So there's lots of different ways. So if you're looking for more ways to use up those little bits, this book can help you with that. Oh, I just, just can't believe it happened. Okay. And it, we're so proud of you. Good job. And um, if you scan the little barcode, it will tell you, it'll take you right to Emily's yes. place. Yes. Now, Emily, in the spirit of today's show, we have to ask, what are your favorite tools to use when constructing your crumb quilts? You mentioned your seam ripper. Yeah, which is my favorite tool. Which we don't always call a favorite, but it's right. certainly essential, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the necessary evil. Yep. Um, so I use the seam ripper, I use the starch. I like to keep like just a small cutting mat and my rotary cutter and a small ruler just to my side so I can like straighten up edges while I'm oh, going. Oh, sure. okay. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Emily, thank you so much for coming on today's show and sharing about that. I love the, uh, we're, we're gonna try crumb quilting. We are, it's my goal for 2022. 2022, that... we're gonna try crumb quilting. Yep. It will just make more crumbs, you'll never run out. That's what they Good. say, that's what Good. they say. But I love the thought of having a crumb bin. I know, that's the only reason why. I want a crumb bin. <laughs> Okay. Thanks again, Emily, for Thanks. joining us. Hey, congratulations again on your new book. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, quilters, there are at least two new AccuQuilt blog posts each and every week with innovative ways to use the dyes you already have, right. like crumb quilting, yes. and maybe inspire you to get some others. Now, today's blog post is actually by Emily Bailey, and it's all about the Go Carpenter's Wheel die. So be sure to check it out. Subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. That way you're going to discover everything that we've talked about and you're going to get a little notification whenever a new blog post goes live. That's excellent. And I think on that blog it will have Emily's information so on yes. how to get her book. Yes. Okay. Yes. So as promised today, we want to talk about the tools that we all use in our craft. And I think I speak for both of us when I say that, of course, our number one tool that we use is our go cutter and dies, right? Yes, it was Valentine's weekend and Ugly was at our house on Saturday and we cut Valentine's with a heart die. Yes. Why would you cut them any other way? That's right, that's right. I don't right. know how the rest of the world John does it. John wanted circles to make his Valentine box because yeah. we made it look like a Lego. Yeah. There's a die for that. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. Well, it's so much quicker. It's more accurate than using a rotary cutter, right? Right. right. And that Bring. brings us to another deal that we have for you. Yes. We have it available for those of you watching quilters. Use the code SAVE200 and you can get $200 off our Ready, Set, Go fabric cutting system or the Go Big Electric fabric cutter. Which is the one we use every day. So remember that Ready, Set, Go has our manual machine, yep. a two and a half inch strip die, um, an eight inch cube and all the mats you need to yes. make that work. Absolutely. Okay. So if you're new to AccuQuilt, maybe you're wanting to upgrade to your cutter, this is a fabulous opportunity to get your hands on one of our cutters. That's right. Now, in addition to saving time with our cutters, think about the extra time saved with our dies, having those dog ears already cut off, right? right? And think about having the die cut the notches for you for yes. curved piecing, which is like my favorite. Yes, it is. And we always tell you that using our dies is 90% faster than rotary cutting or scissors, but quilters, you're actually gonna save even more time because you don't have to go back and trim your shapes yep. after you sew them. Um, you can just press and move on. Think about applique shapes. You oh would gosh. have to go in and trim those once you'd applique them. No, there's no. a die for that. No, and I have a confession to make. Yes. I'm really awful at rotary cutting. Yeah. And I think a lot of people share that. But I am great at using my ruler. We have one here in yes. our handy toolbox. Yes. And a rotary cutter. But what I do with them is prep my fabric to get it ready to go on my dies. Right. And I'm going to tell you, um, in uh, next month, we're going to have a Wednesday show. We're going to teach you all about subcutting and looking Ooh. at your patterns. Okay? Oh, that's good. Now, we couldn't live without our rotary cutters and rulers and our green mats right here to get yep. our fabric ready to go. You can get your fabric ready as well. Use a ruler like this one. Um, they're on sale at our website as well as our rotary cutter and our... Uh, cutting mat and the cool thing about our cutting mat is that it is two-sided but I won't <laughs> and remember we tell you to just measure your shape at a quarter of an inch on either side and that will tell you how wide to yep. cut your fabric that's a great reminder we also on our patterns have sub cutting instructions like on the carpenter's wheel it will say cut a strip or cut a whatever right right, right. to rough cut it to get it ready for your dive yep so We've got those items again. We have the wonderful rotary, rotary cutters, rotary cutting mats and rulers. They've all got the AccuQuilt logo on them and they're all on our website. That's right. Now, if you've ever watched my Wednesday show or our product videos, then you know how much Eric and I rely on our wool pressing mat and clover iron every time we sew. Absolutely. Okay, uh, this is my favorite uh, tool because I can sit at my sewing machine yep. and chain piece for days and then just press my seams however they need to be with my little clover iron and my mat. That's right. And I keep it by my machine as well. It's also perfect for machine embroidery. Yes. So if you are appliqueing, you take it off, you take your hoop off your machine, it's just the right size to, to yep. fuse those shapes down. And don't forget, 
you want to use a mason jar to hold that hot iron. I think that's the best viewer tip we've ever gotten. Someone on our Wednesday show said, yes. hey, throw that in a mason jar. And Mason is my, and my son, so I think of him all the time. Yes, okay. and there's another reason why we do that. Yes. We had an incident. Oh, okay, listen, they always remind <laughs> me about this. Okay, shortly after we got the <laughs> irons, I accidentally burned the corner of our sewing machine here in the studio. I know, it's okay. Oh. Uh, we, but now we have both of these items on sale <laughs> on our website. Um, the mason jar you're going to have to find on your yeah, own. Yeah, you're going to have okay. to find that on your but own. But truly, this is, these are the ones I cannot live without yep. when yep. I think about tools. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we also have our little zipper bag, right? Yes. Yes, full of cool things. Yes. All right. And inside our little zipper bag, right? And we um, use these for a lot of things. We do. We have items from our website that we can't use and I can't live without. And we use these for keeping English paper piecing yes. together, mm -hmm. right? Because that's one of the things. That's right. And I also have another one that I use for binding. So I keep my binding clips, my little binding clips and mm -hmm. a little pair of scissors and thread and needles. I keep them there. So I'm all ready to take it with me if I'm going to watch TV or if I'm on the go. You've got another favorite of ours in that bag, though. Look at this. This is our little thread collection. And we sold out of the thread our very first shipment in one day. One day. We just showed it one time, and you all said, oh, hey. Uh, we have more in stock, so make sure you get your um, order in quickly. But look at the great colors. So this is Aurafil thread. All right, good thing. Thanks to our good friends at Aurafil. So it is go green and it has blue and this orange and pink, but then it has that neutral gray. Yeah, nice neutral gray for your piecing. Yes. It's perfect. And it comes Love in it. this super cute box. Isn't it cute? And it fits so nicely. You can just yes, take it that on the go with you. Okay. All right, and then here's another one oh. when we're talking about um, English paper piecing. This is our marker. We mm -hmm. have two different sizes, um, but this is what I use to when we do Y seams. Yes. To mark the little X's. Mark that quarter inch mm -hmm. intersection. Right. We can't do without that when we're doing our English, when we're doing our Y seams. Right. And sometimes they use it for English paper mm -hmm. piecing. Oh, as I flip it around there. Yep. Flip. Okay. Right, what else have we got in there? Oh, this one. And everyone always asks, how did this work? So, okay, here we go. So this is our die pick. Yes. Okay. So this is meant, okay, first of all, super sharp. Yes. Keep it away from Careful. small children. But look, right here in the corner, when we cut with our dies, thread builds up here in the corner. And this just takes it out. And then I used to like to use a lint roller brush when I'm mm -hmm. done. Okay, so just come here. You want to go towards the blades, not towards the foam. Right, okay? because you'll you'll gouge the foam. Yep. You don't want to do that. And what happens, Erica, if you um, if you don't clean your dies? Now, if you don't clean the dies, especially if you're using our rag dies, the lint will build up so that the foam can't compress. So I always say that the go system is a very highly technical method of smushing. And the foam is going to smush down and smush the blade up through your fabric. And that's why you have to have that mat on top. Yeah. Well, if the foam can't smush down, no cut. So you want to be sure you keep that clean. Yes. Great little protein. So get your little die picks on our website. That's right. Well, all of those things are great. But my favorite after all, after my go cutter and scissors, are the scissors that you've got. You've got yes. both pairs of them in there. Yes. All right. So these scissors are by our good friend, uh, Karen K. Buckley, yes. and I love using them. Now we have them here in the studio, but um, Eric and I both have them at home as well. Yes. Listen, yes. they're super sharp and I guard them with my life. Yes. Okay. That's right. We have them at home. We use them all the time. I love the little um, covers because yes. they are, man, are they sharp. Look at that point. Super nice. Yes, we love them. All right, so here is actually the one and only Karen K. Buckley to tell you more about these wonderful scissors. My name is Karen K. Buckley from Karen K. Buckley's Perfect Quilting Products. And my friends at AccuQuilt asked if I would talk to you about some of my products. They specifically wanted me to talk to you about my four inch micro serrated edge scissors and my perfect six inch micro serrated edge scissors. And the question they posed to me was, what makes them the right tool. So I'd like to tell you what makes them the perfect tool. One blade is straight and one is micro serrated. <clears throat> All of the scissors come with a protective cover. 
and you want to put that cover on when you're not using them because they are extremely sharp. This micro serrated blade that is on my scissors has advantages. It helps to keep the edge of your fabric from fraying. That's a huge plus for those of us who do a lot of applique. It grabs the fabric and holds it in place instead of pushing it forward. That's another big bonus. The straight blade can be sharpened if needed, and I'm telling you that is very rare that it is needed. If you choose to cut fabrics with fusibles, which is perfectly okay, you will more than likely have to come in and clean those blades every so often to get the fusible removed, but it's perfectly fine and they can be cleaned. And I'll often use a product such as Goo Gone to do that. Then let's take a look at the six inch and having the longer blade, which to me adds a bonus. And that bonus for me on this size is that I can cut through layers of fabric. So for example, I have four layers here. I have friends who will go up to eight thicknesses, but that's a little thick for me. However, it can, you can do it. Please note, there are no pins in here. That's another bonus to the micro serrated blade. It holds your layers evenly with no shifting at all. So it allows me to do very accurate cuts. So when I'm finished, all four of these leaves are gonna be identical in size. So that to me is a big plus that I don't have any shifting and that it helps to keep those edges from fraying. All the handles are designed so that they're very comfortable. I can cut seriously all day long and my hands never get sore because of the design of the handles. Also, I like that you can get all your fingers in here. And with my green ones, I can easily get my fingers into these handles and they're very comfortable. Another thing to be aware of is these are designed so that a right or a left-hander could use them. So I can just pick them up. There's no right or wrong way because I do get that question, should you pick them up this way or this way? It doesn't matter. It will cut the same. I find that with these green ones, I frequent, I use these so much. I have a pair of every single one of my sewing machines because I find they are great for clipping threads. I trim um, edges. I clip into seam allowances. I just find that there's so many uses for this pair. So they're always close by so that I can grab them. And that is what makes my perfect scissors so perfect. They really are perfect. They are perfect. They really yeah. are. I first discovered them when I was looking into collage quilting, and right. I think you did too, but now yes. I use them for everything. I do. And Karen does a lot of needle turn applique with her quilts, and I think that might have been a, a part of why she designed those smaller ones. Yes, yes, I think so. <sighs> Thank you, Karen K. Buckley, for your beautiful scissors. Yes. All right, quilters, don't forget, we have deals and bundles that for available for today's Go Carpenter Wheel Die Relaunch. That's right. We also have the promo code SAVE35. Now, this code is going to save you 35% on dies, cubes, and select bundles. So take advantage of this offer to get all the items you've been eyeing to add them to your AccuQuilt system. Some exclusions apply for this deal, so check the website for details. And remember, you get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. and your order reaches $150 or more. No code needed at checkout to redeem this offer. That's right. Don't forget, you're also going to get double reward points that you can use towards your future AccuQuilt purchases. All right, quilters, our good friends at Timeless Treasures are helping us make this a great party uh, by providing us with two lovely selections of fabric to give away. Now, these are actually half yard cuts. So they in my are. quilting head, I already have a project that I could make with this. And we're going to show you a project idea coming up yes. in our trunk show that uses the same fabric collection. And I do love the batik look. It I does. It's so it's, pretty. It's not a batik. It's a print. It's not. But it definitely has that look or that kind of watercolor look to yep. it. All right, so we're gonna give them away. The first winner of a Timeless Treasure fabric selection is, drum roll please. Pamela M. from Wilmer, Alabama. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, the winner of the second selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Jill A. from Grove City, Ohio. Congratulations. Congratulations. A huge shout out to Timeless Treasures for sponsoring today's show. We know our quilters are going to love using this fabric. Make sure that you post your finished projects oh, with us yes. on our social media pages. See. Now, quilters, earlier in the show, we asked, what is your most valued tool besides AccuQuilt cutters and dies? Yes. Now, we don't have a voting poll today, 
but you can let us know your answers in the comments section wherever you stream the show. Now, while everyone is commenting with their answers, let's get into today's trunk show. Joy, welcome back. What do you have for us today? Okay, so to start out. Okay, I'm gonna ooh, help you here. We have this beautiful Carpenter's Point Throw. That's right, this is the Go Carpenter's Point Throw. It's by Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts. She's used Timeless Treasures fabric in it, and I love that blue. I do love that blue, and I love that it's set on point, because you know we always talk about that. Mm -hmm. Now, Amanda did this super clever thing she made this is a six inch square finished yes right so from the 12 inch cube and now she can use the six inch setting triangle that is so clever. Amanda look how so yeah. clever it's one so, giant setting triangle right there. yeah so cool so the setting triangles and that six inch cube are both part of that save 35 that's right yeah. And she's done wonderful swirly quilting to kind of offset the angular design. And yes. there's the back. Oh, we love we this love. back fabric. Okay, I'm thinking I need to find this because I have a super cute <laughs> quilt I could use that with. I Very love nice. it. Good super job, Amanda. Fun. First thing I noticed when I walked in the studio today. <laughs> Next up, we've got our gold dual stars wall hanging. Now this one's by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts and she's used Timeless Treasures fabric. In this, as a matter of fact, this is the project that uses the fabric that two of our lucky viewers just won. And I love Gina because she always makes everything look like a party. Right. You know, it's just always bright and, and so fun. But now, Joy, you learned something about this I quilt. Did. I did. Love, I love how she's actually combined these two blocks um, and then used the sashing in between. Right. So, so one corner of one block is, is actually inset to the other. And right. she's flipped that quarter block. Yep. Around. So that it's two different ways. It's one way here, it's yep. the other way down there. It's right. super it. cool, very right. clever. And the sashing is beautiful. And then it just has that solid background. But very again, nice. if you want our bundles today, you should be making that. That's right. Go. Next up, we have the Go Shade Throw Quilt. I have to tell you, we've been going nuts oh. over this okay. quilt. I have already downloaded the free pattern that's on AccuQuilt. That's right, so she I can has. make it. So this is by Carolina Moore of alwayspectmore.com. This is so cool. It's just amazing. It, oh, here, we got to turn it this way so oh, we can see the other way. part. Okay. This right so here. It's it's just... Wait, keep turning. Keep turning. Where are we going? Because in the quilting. It's, it's all in the, the quilting. quilting. We'll show You'll you in a minute. Oh, 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 I see. But Sorry. The three-dimensional effect, to me, is really highlighted with the way she's done the straight line quilting on those pieces. Right. And all the negative space, right? All, all the negative space makes this so modern. So in my quilting head, I would keep this gray and then I would do like a black and a white and a red or a bright pop of pink oh, or yeah. green. Okay, but Erica has the trick about so the quilting. She's done all of this swirl quilting. The whole background is the same and it's very tight except one classic feather. Ready? This is such a classic quilting design. Look at that. Right in the middle of this incredibly modern quilt. Love I it. just love it. All right, and then beautiful Joy. Beautiful back fabric. We do like Look that. Look at how pretty fabric. the back fabric is. We were, we were really love the way it came together. See, I would, I would use some of these colors for the front. There you go. Oh, that'd be oh, fun too. Oh, that right would be now, cool. I need to go <laughs> right do that. Right now we must sew. <laughs> right now we must sew. This is our Go Tumbling Star Throw Quilt. Now this one's by Bea Lee at Bea Quilter. She's used Northcott Fabrics. And this you may recognize as the pattern that is on the packaging. Right. Every time we release a die, Eric and I do a video on how to cut and sew a block together. And this is the pattern that we used. And Bea did a great job. Again, I love the different solids. You're kind of into solids this yeah, year. Yeah, and I love the black and white and just how the single colors pop. Mm -hmm. I, I just, and then the quilting. I'm just crazy about this yeah, one. Yeah, the little triangles. It. Look yeah. how fun that is. Love and then it. just a solid gray background. Yep, and it love shows that. up so beautifully on the, the back as well. Quilting does show up beautifully. Isn't it nice. Love it. Great now job. This Bailey. one is my favorite of the set. This is the Go Ohio Fireworks Throw Quilt. This okay. is by Amanda Harward from Larkspur Quilts. She's used Hoffman fabrics. And look at this, she's so smart. So Amanda was super smart. She used our 12 inch cube to make an 18 inch block. Save 35 folks on that 12 inch cube to go with that uh, carpenter's wheel block. That's an Ohio star. Where are our Ohio people that just won? Hey, congratulations to yeah. you Ohio folk. Okay. Love it. The colors oh, they are, lost. I Sorry. love the I love the colors. <laughs> the I colors the are really colors. amazing. And this fabric, I think I probably have seven or eight versions of that fabric yeah. at home. So I pretty. Love it. And it's the quilting so is beautiful. And show us the backing and, because oh. I 
love this back. It looks too. like watercolors, right? Yes. Yeah. It is. So beautiful, pretty. beautiful fabric. watercolor. All right, next up on the wall behind us, Joy, do you want to give us a yes. look at the so we've got Berry Bliss Throw Quilt? I just, I love the colors here. And like Pam said, I'm really into solids right, right. now. So this speaks to my, my heart. And this is Missy Shepler designed this. And I think it's so pretty because again, it has a cube block right there. And um, it's just different, right? Mm -hmm. But the points come together to make the star from, you know, you can see the carpenter's wheel everywhere with those stars in the center. Yep. And, and the way that she has quilted this, it makes some of the design really stand out and pop with the, right. with the um, right. stippling, the tiny, right. tiny stippling in there, so. Which I've totally been doing lately, so. Super love fun. That. Beautiful Super project. fun. All right, next up, we've got another one of our favorites. This it is. is the Go Casablanca Wall Hanging by Gina Jempasa of Gem Hill Quilts. This time she's used Timeless Treasures fabrics. And I think it's the, the block and how it's set off by those corner treatments. Right, so when we talk about a medallion quilt, this is a perfect example yes. of that because she's taken one of the carpenter wheel blocks and then our six inch cube and companion angles to create these corners and joy had never seen these before yeah i hadn't noticed this before and this is a this is my inspiration to go home and sew today is i'm right. gonna i'm gonna find something to do a corner treatment on it's right beautiful. isn't that so fun and i love again the colors and it's so beautiful right and it just has a little it's solid back. Back. it is very bright beautiful and we were talking about English paper piecing before. And one right. of the reasons we love yeah. it is because we can take it with us. So if you're going to do that, you need to make the zipper pouch for it. Right. These are our English paper piecing zipper pouch. It's by Carolina Moore of alwaysexpectmore.com. And look, it has, it has you can little zipper. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. The zippers are not anything to be afraid of. No, I it's made some last year. And clear vinyl so you can see what's in each one. You can have your project just ready to grab. Put all your supplies right. in there, ready to take it on the road. It's one it. of those tools to help you keep it organized if you're doing English paper That's piecing. Right. And it's got piece backing. This is something that would be great for using up scraps. Oh, yeah, it would right. be. Right. It would be. That's Any one of the reasons pieces. why I love English paper piecing. Yeah, I love it. All right, now we've been talking about tools and giving love to our tools, so we can't, we couldn't, we'd be amiss if we didn't give love to our sewing machine. Yes. So, Here's our Easy Bloom sewing machine cover. And this is by Gina Jempasa of Gem Hill Quilt. She's used Figo fabrics in some very different colorways. Right. The one in front of us and then the ones that you both have. And they have pockets. They have pockets that will just and pop things. right over the top of your sewing machine. Right. Keep it clean and dust free and ready to go. And Gina used our, a variety of strip dies, which are part of that Save 35 today. So um, this would be a great one to use with the multiple strip die mm -hmm. that has yeah. the one, one and a half and two inch finished. That's and then she's great highlighted it with a little medallion there from English yeah. paper piecing. Cube. Like, yep. And it has horseshoe fabric. And it I does. feel like that English paper piecing cube is probably 35% off. Which I'm probably right. sure it probably okay. is. Yeah. All right, we keep talking about English paper piecing, so here is one of my favorite quilts. This is the Go Hexagon Gardens Throw Quilt. It's by Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts, and I love this one. It is like a modern take on the traditional grandmother's flower garden. Right, which was the first quilt that I made here at AccuQuilt, uh, the first die I used. Um, because you hand piece all these pieces, mm -hmm. and I love the fact that Amanda just used this simple waves through it. Right. You don't really want to just, you don't want to distract right. from you don't the, want to distract too much. From the flowers. I'm working on the same quilt but with bright batiks. Oh, wow. A solid gray background. That's yeah. gonna be beautiful. And love I it. love the, the swirly background. Yeah, just the waves. Very cool. Okay. All right, quilters, all of these patterns are available as free downloads. Ask me, because I already downloaded one at AccuQuilt website. Be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your die arrives, so you'll be ready to go. And be sure and share your projects with us. We'd love to see what oh, you make. absolutely. All right. Now that the engine is running, <laughs> yes. I'm going to let you continue with their Go Carpenter's Wheel Die Relaunch Party. You Thanks so much, Joy. Okay. Now she's going to go home and sew. Aren't you? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All That's right, quilters, it's time to announce our final prize of the day. Yes, one more time to say thank you to our quilters. Absolutely. The lucky winner of our last Go Carpenter's Wheel Die today is, drum roll please. Pam P. from Pinkley, Ohio. Congratulations. Another Ohio. We had another Ohio and another Pam. Congratulations. Yes. 
All right, quilters, don't forget we have bundles available for you today. They're already marked down as far as possible. To get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image. It will take you directly to the site. First, we have that Go Individual Carpenter's Wheel Die. Remember, it finishes to 18 inches. You can purchase it today for $129.99. And our first bundle is the Go to the Nines bundle, which you'll receive the Go Carpenter's Wheel 18-inch finish die, plus that Go Cube Mix and Match 9-inch finish block. They're going to work really well together, and a 10 by 24 cutting mat. This bundle is valued at $414, but you can purchase it today for $299.99, saving you over $113. The next bundle we have is the Go Big Carpenter's Wheel Starter Set. You're going to receive our Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter, which is the cutter Eric and I use every single day. Yep. The Go Carpenter's Wheel, which finishes to 18 inches, and that 10 by 24 cutting mat. Now, normally this bundle wheel is valued at $864. You can purchase it today for just $649 and some change, saving you over $213. It's a great value. It is. But don't worry if you've already purchased the Go Carpenter's Wheel Die you can still add to your AccuQuilt system by using the promo code SAVE35 to get 35% off of Go dies, cubes, and bundles like that English paper piece and cube. Yep, and those strip dies. And remember that six and 12 inch cube will also make 18 inch blocks. That's right. All right, get free shipping if you live in the contiguous US when your order reaches $150 or more. No code needed to redeem this offer at checkout. That's right, and if you're new to AccuQuilt or looking to upgrade your fabric cutter, use the promo code SAVE200 to get $200 off your Ready, Set, Go fabric cutting system or the Go Big fabric cutter. And just stick around after the show to see which cutter is best for your quilting needs. Now, remember, quilters, like we mentioned before, the bu bundles are already marked down as far as possible. Some exclusions apply to the promo offers. Be sure to check the website for details. And don't forget, you're taking advantage of our double reward point offer by placing your orders today. Now, if you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser. Go to the top of the page, click on that plus sign in the very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party. You can see the bundles and place your order. You can also find our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. Now to find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And remember, you can quilt now, pay later. Get your financing today at AccuQuilt.com slash financing. Well, it is time for us to go sew because it we is. have all kinds of ideas in our yeah. quilting heads. Mm -hmm. We hope that you are as excited as we are about the creative possibilities that open up when you use your scraps with the Go Carpenter's Wheel die. Now, be sure to join us again next Tuesday, which is 2-2-2-2022, all of the twos. All the twos. At 12 noon Central Time for a new launch party called Tuesday Tuesday. We're going to be launching not one, but two new dies, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited about our new dies. That's right. You want to register. So go to our event page on our website and register. That's how you qualify to win door prizes. All right, quilters, thank you so much for joining us today. If you've been waiting for the show to end before you buy, well, now is that time. Here's the link. You can get everything you need while it's still available. And remember, quilters at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye. See you next week.